Hi, welcome to the Bride Lakes DIY YouTube channel. I'm Alexa with Events with Alexa, and I'm really excited to have Shanna here from Ruffles and Rouge, and today she's gonna show us how to make paper rosettes. Let's get started. Okay, the supplies that you will need to make the paper rosette are thick cardstock, scissors, glue gun, and some glitter. So I'm going to show you how to make a paper rosette. Okay. And it's super simple. First, you just get your cardstock. And Does you, it have to be this size? It doesn't have to be this size. The larger it is, the more rings you'll have in your paper. Mm -hmm. um, you can also cut it in thinner strips to make lots of different layers, or you can cut in thick strips to make fewer layers, like this one. Oh, okay. So you can tell the sense. difference yeah. in these two. So I'm just gonna start cutting. If you're a perfectionist, you can totally go ahead and draw a circle. Okay, so here's my circle. Now, you just go in and cut a spiral. It's super okay. easy. And all you have to do to get all of these layers is cut a really thin strip and oh, keep going with a okay. thin strip. And I'm just cutting with a thicker right. strip for this one. We're going to make it a little bit bigger rosette. Okay. Then, once you get to the center, you want to leave a circle oh. because that's what your petals are going to adhere to. Oh. So, you start with the end that's furthest away and you basically just start coiling and you keep it tight ah. and you roll your rose and you can see it's starting to form. And when you get down to the end, make sure you've got plenty of glue because oh, as you will do. see, <laughs> all of this oh. is going to have to glue to the bottom, okay? So all of these little layers have to attach to the bottom. It's a lot of glue. Okay, there you go. Okay. Then stick it right down on there and then you push all the layers. All the layers down onto the glue. And that's what it's gonna look like right now. While your glue is still hot, take your glitter. Oh fun. And pour it right down in the middle. Just like a little salt shaker. Shake it around a little bit. And now as you can see, we've got a little uneven edge. And you just Oh that's so fun. Trim it off. And then you've got a little rosette. So this looks so pretty, but what do we do with it? I guess that's my question. Okay, there are lots of options that you can do with your paper flower rosettes. If you are planning a wedding and doing a centerpiece, it's really nice if you have a long table, you can incorporate them in pieces of moss. You can just lay oh. them out actually by themselves. If you want to, you can put a pipe cleaner around the base. Okay. And just twist it, make sure it's good and secure. And if you have a little flower arrangement, you can actually stick it down into your flower arrangement. Okay, so you wrapped the base. The base. Mm -hmm. Okay, and stuck it in. I think mm -hmm. that is super, super cute. Mm -hmm. And you can do multiple with little sizes. You can do teeny pink ones and larger pink ones just to create a variety. You can mix in white if you wanted to. Just depends on how elaborate you want to get with it. You can also glue directly onto the glass if you wanted to. Yeah, we'll show it. what that looks like. And just press the center with your finger until it dries. And of course, when it dries, you'll know because it won't wiggle around on the glass. But you can decorate your, oh, your jars gosh. with them too. Thanks for watching the Bride Links YouTube channel. I'm Alexa with Events with Alexa, and this is Shanna from Ruffles and Rouge. Where can we kind of see more stuff you do and fun you can projects? Visit my Etsy shop at Shop Ruffles and Rouge. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks. See you guys next time. Bye.